Welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel. And uh, hey, we're going to continue tuning around with the uh, St. Jean ATS909X2. And uh, we're going to tune from 5,000 to 6,000 kilohertz on the uh, band. And of course, with tips on how I tune and what do I look for. And uh, at the same time, I guess uh, some uh, people, newbies, and even you know people that have been listening for a long time, sometimes will catch a tip or two. Maybe you'll uh, have your own tip also in the comments section. So it's on the MLE30 Outdoors, of course. It is a 0130 UTC right now. And we're going to start tuning up from 5,000 to 6,000 kilohertz. And we're going to start in AM mode because the first bottom, the bottom of the band, basically, is uh, in um, AM mode. It's the end of the 60 meter um, tropical band. So we have WWV, 5,000 kilohertz. Not very strong, but WRMI, 5010 kilohertz. Just out of curiosity, going to check 4980. Yeah, 4980 is pretty good. 5010, I believe, is directed to the Caribbean. That's why it's not as good. 5025, Radio Rebelde in Cuba. Something with no carrier on 50-50. With no audio, sorry. WTWW back on 5085 with religious programming. And starting here, and actually we're going to start at 5100. The rest of the band up to about 5800 is utilities. So we're going to switch ourselves in upper side band and tune slowly, but uh, one kilohertz at a time to uh, what's in here. Stanag. This is the uh, FT8 mode on the uh, 60 meter amateur radio band, which has only five channels. Very weak, very weak uh, 5450, which is uh, Royal Air Force One in uh, weather station in uh, the United Kingdom. Mm. 
better signal a little better on 5505 which is the uh, Shannon Valmet station which has weather for aeronautical purposes coming out of Ireland In this area here we are in aeronautical frequencies so we might be hearing some air traffic control there we go When the aeronautical communications are random, so, um, you know, it's nice to either stay on a frequency or tune around all the time, uh, scan the same band all the time, and you'll hear stuff, 5616 here on the East Coast, 5598, 5550 that we just heard was, I believe, for the Caribbean mostly, but uh, the best is to punch in one frequency and stay there. So for example, I'll go to 5998 and stay on that frequency for a while. You will hear some aeronautical communications. Uh, 5616 also is one that I am often on. And here we are back into getting into the start of the 49 meter band broadcast band. So I'll go into the AM mode, tune of course one kilohertz, uh, and tune around 5,800 kilohertz. Radio Slovakia via WRMI. Fifty-eight fifty is WRMI also. I think this is Radio Romania in Romanian. He's been more hands-on. WWCR. For a brief time. And they were definitely more portable. WRMI. According to the Guinness Book of Records, the first hourglass was made by a French monk in the 8th century A.D. But they didn't come into widespread use until around the 1300s. Hourglasses were especially useful on ships at sea since the rocking of the boat didn't affect their accuracy. The great oceans of the age of discovery... Not very strong, but that should technically be Radio Romania. Let's uh, compare it with 7325. 7325 a little better. 
But uh, this is uh, Radio Romania that should be in English at this time. And we end at 6,000 kilohertz with Radio Havana Cuba that has, for a change, some good audio tonight. So this was the tuning, 5,000 to 6,000 kilohertz with the St. Gian ATS 909X2 portable receiver on the MLA 30 loop antenna outdoors. More coming up. Hope you enjoy the videos.